the McLaren Arts Center is a regional public art gallery in downtown Barrie. Um, we're admission by donation, so there's no ticket to get in. It is really nice to have people back in person again. There's really no place like the McLaren in Barrie. There are definitely other artist groups and initiatives, but the McLaren Arts Center is really special in its scale and what we offer the community, whether it be exhibitions, programming, um, any fundraisers that we have or special events, it's really unique. What Heather's doing with our education department, working with community groups, um, I think that's going to be really vital to Barry going forward. This year we've had a lot of virtual programming with COVID and everything like that. Um, but we have, we have been bringing back a whole lot of in-person programming to the gallery, which has been really wonderful, and planning those is definitely very rewarding. So we have a toddler program that's launching this spring, um, and that starts at a year old, and we program all the way up to um, older adults, so seniors, um, and that can be, uh, you know, in their 70s and 80s. Um, so we do see quite the scope of age range. Um, the bulk of our programming is for children and youth, so um, mostly we see children between the ages of six um, to 14, um, and so a lot of our programs are geared towards those. We work with artists from the region to develop the programs. So we will find artists who have a particular skill and we will have them work with us to develop the program and to create, to deliver it as well, to create a really positive experience so that those students are learning from someone who is an expert in that material or that medium and then they get all of these extra tips and all of these extra tricks and they really kind of get a bigger, more fleshed out experience. The art scene just adds so much vibrancy to the community. I know when I moved to Barrie that was one of the main appeals to me was how great our arts community is and we really hope the McLaren is that place where all these communities can gather. The first Fridays is the first Friday of every month. It's uh, intended to be an arts and culture walkabout, so different uh, businesses in the local community will have some kind of arts and culture activation um, between the hours of 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. It can go later depending on what the business wants, but we're looking forward to having um, more arts and culture throughout our downtown core and build that vibrant community energy that I know we can. By introducing children to art at a young age, they become adults who become lifelong learners of art, and they want to continue engaging in the arts um, in their communities, um, and they choose to go to art galleries, and they choose to think about art and work with art and purchase art, and so all of those things are very important to us to create kind of lifelong art connoisseurs. <laughs> so I am actually someone who was um, influenced by the McLaren Art Center. So when I was in grade school, elementary, um, the in-school program Van Gogh came to my school and I was able to make um, a print. Um, so printmaking is like stamping. Um, and it made a huge impact on my life because I went on to go to school for art and I went on to become a printmaker specifically because it was such a unique and special experience that I had never had before. And it made such a, a mark on my brain and on my soul. And to me, I would love, I want to continue making those marks on children um, and to be able to see kind of more people end up like me who are really passionate and really invested in the arts. We have a lot to offer as always and now that we're open and having things in person again there are no barriers to coming. We're free admission. You can just spend some time here, have you know have a, a nice time sitting downstairs in our lobby if you want to, kind of move through the space at your leisure. Um, and come really any time. Uh, we are a big facility, so there's no really opportunity for overcrowding, so you can feel really safe coming in here. Um, and it's open for everyone, and we look forward to seeing everyone come in.